Welcome back to the Z Code System channel, guys. Drew here, and today we're talking about the NCAA basketball season, which tips off in November, November the 25th. That's next Wednesday, to be exact. And we are going to see some excellent basketball coming your way as the new season gets underway. As you can see there, we've posted our recent blog on the season. So you can go over to zcodesystem.com backslash blog to get the latest information and to see some of the things that we're not going to necessarily talk about in the in the uh, video today, but you'll be able to go over there and check out some information and get all up to date because we're so excited to have the NCAA coming back, NCAA basketball that is, uh, because last year, as we all know, COVID-19 caused the cancellation of the NCAA basketball tournament, the March Madness tournament that we all know and love, regardless of where you are located. If you are a big sports fan, especially a basketball fan, it is one of the best times of the year. And uh, I probably have said before in previous videos uh, from last year or uh, last basketball season, um, I remember being a kid growing up in America and every year for that first and second round, that first Thursday and Friday of the tournament, just uh, not going to school, my parents letting me stay home and just getting to watch the games. And that happened probably from the time I was 12 up until the time uh, I graduated from university. So this is just one of my favorite, that's one of my favorite times of the year. And now we're gonna have the lead up to the NCAA basketball tournament. And as I said before, thanks tipping off on Wednesday, November the 25th. That is a week uh, from tomorrow uh, as I come to you as I record um, the latest video here on the channel. Now, of course, guys, you can go over to the Z Code System website and get all up to date on all of the picks and predictions that we post there. Uh, I just scroll down here. You can see some of the things that we uh, are covering or we have covered of late. Um, last week, we had the picks for the NFL, and as well as you can follow the winners there with the VIP. And uh, on our video last week, at least the video that I posted here on the v on the Z Code System channel on YouTube, um, I covered the NBA season, which also will be starting up soon, as you see there, December the 22nd. So you can go over and get all of that great information. Now, we're going to talk a little bit about some of the things to be on the lookout for. I'm just going to scroll back up here um, to the, the blog there. And I'm just going to give you a little bit of information on the things that are going to be coming up um, here with the NCAA tournament. I've got my notes here in front of me. And if you've been following the NCAA uh, in the preparation for the basketball season, you'll know that the schools were allowed to start practicing for the season on October the 14th. So teams have been roughly working for the last month to get in shape and to get ready for the season. Um, one of the things that has happened um, or has not happened in a way uh, is the fact that teams are not being allowed to do any kind of preseason tournaments, preseason games, or scrimmages due to the COVID-19 and trying to stop the spread of that. So we're seeing teams um, having very minimal activity other than uh, in-house practices to prepare for the regular season. So there's that going on. Now, the NCAA has uh, given a few rules that teams need to abide by this season. Uh, one of those, a uh, pretty big rule, is that there are only four non-conference games that a team can play uh, in the build-up to their conference season. So that's going to change things quite a bit. Uh, you may not see a lot of the bigger schools beating up on smaller schools, but you also may not see bigger schools um, taking on some of the other big schools in marquee matchups early in the season. That Those, uh, those games typically are great to give you an idea of what might happen in the NCAA tournament later on. And those games are also very good for uh, the bigger teams to really showcase what they can do against the top tier talent um, in other conferences around the world. No, sorry, around the U.S. Um, so we're not going to be able to see those. Now, the NCAA has also uh, made it a mandate that all teams must play a, or not, not must play, but you can only play a maximum of 27 games in the regular season. So uh, I'm expecting to see a lot of the um, top tier teams, ACC, SEC, those types of teams, Big Ten, uh, those teams will probably max out their schedules and get all of those games in, uh, at least try to get all of those games in as, as best as possible. And of course, we're going to be leading up to March Madness, which is going to be very exciting to have that come back. Now, we've got some um, dates that have been released 
so we know when March Madness will come about. And of course, um, I'm not sure about, uh, we're in the middle of a second wave in a lot of the countries right now with during, uh, due to COVID-19. So, I mean, a lot of things will, just like in the NBA, just like the NHL, just like in other sports, will all depend on a third wave or how serious the second wave is is going to be. But the dates that have been released so far by the NCAA um, for March Madness is we're going to see the selection show, uh, the selection Sunday on March the 14th, 2021. And then the first uh, the first round will tip off on March 16th and 17th. So that's really exciting to know that we have these dates um, ironed out. And as I showed you before scrolling down here on the Zico System blog, the NBA has identified um, December the 22nd to tip off. But you know, we still don't know about the NHL. The NHL still has a lot of things to uh, get into, to to understand and to prepare for before they can give us a solid date on when they want to um, drop the puck for a new season. But here we're seeing the NCAA. They are putting things down. It's not in stone, but we're seeing things being put down with dates uh, and some excitement um, is now being built. And uh, if we are preparing for the Final Four this year, uh, we're the season is going to take place uh, final four on April the third with the national championship game. <clears throat> national championship game that is on April the fifth. So again, things that we can now put into the calendar for the coming season of NCAA basketball, which again, let me remind you, starts November the twenty fifth, which is a Wednesday, and again, as I talked to you, is about a week from today. Now, the NCAA has released its rankings, and um, I've just got a tab here with CBS Sports. Dot com. They've got um, the rankings up there, so I'm just going to go to that right now to talk you through it. Now, as you can see here, we've got the CBSSports.com website. I like to use this website uh, when it comes to a lot of the college sports that goes on in the U.S. And if I just scroll down here, just a little bit of a hang up, um, we can see that we've got some different polls. We've got the AP top 25. We've got the coaches, the coaches poll, the top 25 and one and net. So really the polls that you want to be aware of, at least as a basketball fan that I've always wanted to pay attention to is the AP and the coaches poll. And to be honest, the AP is really where it's at um, when everything is said and done. Now, as you can see there, we've got a lot of similarities, uh, a few tweaks, um, when we, we take a look at these, and I'm just going to stick with the AP and the coaches poll here, is we've got Gonzaga, the Bulldogs there. They are the number one team ranked uh, in the nation going into the season. Baylor Bears to Villanova, Virginia, Iowa, Kansas. And as we go on down, you can also always go over to CVSSports.com and check that out yourself. Um, so I won't go all the way through that. But you can see a few discrepancies there when you look over at the coaches poll. Um, and, you know, it's, it's good to have a look at the coaches poll. Um, when you're having a look at these, just to see what the coaches um, around the NCAA are uh, thinking compared to the sports writers. Uh, Gonzaga, I've always had an issue with Gonzaga being a favored team, especially when it comes down to the NCAA tournament. I know that they've gotten to deepen the tournament over the years, um, especially the last 20 years. But Gonzaga's never won the NCAA tournament. They have a weak conference, and I always argue that they do well in the regular season but then once they get to that grind of the march madness it's always a difficult thing for them so um for me i never like to think that or i never think that gonzaga are going to win this the national title and of course we see bias all the time in sports betting and something that we really have to get um out of the way but at the moment gonzaga has to do a lot to prove to me that they can go on to win the national title now baylor bears uh big 12 conference uh, I'm not really sure how I feel about the Baylor Bears um, going into this season. Personally, um, I, I prefer those teams such as uh, Villanova in the, big, uh, in the Big East. Then we've got those teams in the Big Ten, teams in the uh, ACC. I like those teams more. Um, I think the talent is a lot better in the college basketball. Of course, there's going to be people out there arguing with me who uh, follow college basketball. They're going to argue that um, those conferences, the Big, uh, the big 12, the Pac-10, all these schools, um, they put together some good teams and um, they're going to be worth uh, uh, some bets and they're going to be worth watching this season. So, you know, if that's what you think, if that's what you're you're behind with the, the teams that you follow, well, of course, that's that's by all means your 
uh, prerogative. But of course, some of these teams, they like Gonzaga, they've got to prove to me throughout the season um, that they are worth my bet when we get to the postseason. And again, I have that bias. I've watched them over the last 20 years and I've just not been sold every season once they get to the NCAA tournament after they've had their um, regular season. So that said, we've got our uh, teams there. We've got the, the rankings. You can see there uh, some of the rankings. And of course, you can go over to cbssports.com, check out um, the full rankings there and um, get to know what's going on with the NCAA basketball as we build up. And, you know, don't be surprised, just like in the NCAA football, where we've seen teams um, have games canceled and postponed because of COVID-19. That's probably going to happen here in basketball. And... You know, things possibly could occur a bit differently in basketball because you have fewer players uh, on a team. So we could see uh, a few um, differences in the way that uh, basketball and, say, college football has gone um, with COVID-19 and the way it's been affected. Also, in basketball, with five players on the court at one time, you may see um, the loss of one player due to testing positive or uh, some other issue um, causing uh, a more of an effect on the team, positive or negative. So anyway, that's uh, that's a few thoughts there going into this season. Now, uh, back to Gonzaga. They finished 31-2 and two last season. Of course, because there was no NCAA tournament, they weren't able to go on and attempt to uh, win the NCAA title. They've got a couple of big recruits that have come in, Jalen Suggs and Julian Strother, <clears throat> who uh, a lot of college experts are really high on going into this season. Now, even though they are ranked number one by the AP at the moment, sports books have not got them put or placed as the team uh, with the best odds to win the NCAA tournament. Now, I had a look at Bavada um, yesterday when I was compiling my notes. And uh, at the moment, Villanova, who is in the AP poll ranked third currently, they have the best odds to win the NCAA championship this season. Uh, Villanova is plus 700 to go on and win that. Um, Gonzaga is actually got the third best odds uh, going into this, uh, which is actually level with Illinois and Kentucky at plus 1,000. Um, and the second best odds going into this is that Iowa Hawkeyes team. So sportsbooks at the moment not really favoring that Gonzaga side um, to go on and lift the title, but we'll have to see how things unfold, of course. Now, uh, Villanova had a strong season last year. Was it as strong as Gonzaga's? No, no, it wasn't at all. Um, but uh, they did p compile a 24-7 and record. Um, they did lose, however, their top scorer, Sadiq Bey. He's gone. And so there are going to be some question marks around Villanova and Jay Wright's team, whether they can get that scoring replaced and then push on to win the Big East and then go on to win the NCAA tournament. So there's a lot of questions there. But there's actually a lot of questions around the whole entire season because of the the, uh, the issues with COVID-19 and last year's season not getting to end and practices being the way they have with no preseason. So a lot of things, um, a lot of question marks going into the season and probably going to need to watch quite a few games leading up to the NCAA tournament to really get an idea of which team is going to really be the favorite to go on and lift the title. So guys, you can go over to the blog today, you can check out the website, and you can read all about some of the things that I haven't covered here on the video here on YouTube. You can also go over and get all up to date on the latest picks for the NFL that's going to be going on this next weekend. Uh, those will be posted very soon. And you can also use the VIP wall over at Z Code System to get the latest information and the latest predictions on sports betting. Uh, whether you're into the Premier League, whether you're into um, college football, whether you're into the NFL, whatever sports you are into, you can go over there and get that information. And we'll be back very soon with our next video here on the Zico System channel. So guys, we thank you for watching today. And if you can, just smash that thumbs up button, give us a like, and give us a follow so you are a subscription, uh, subscribe that is, uh, so you can follow along with us and you can get the latest videos served up to you and We'll give you all those picks that you want here at Z Code System. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.